and it's Friday, and that means On the Road with CBS's Steve Hartman. And this week, Steve tells us about a reunion that was years in the making. This feels like a long time. During the wait, oh my goodness. the torturous wait at airport arrivals, uh, Basat Azizi made this empty vow. I'll try not to cry. But of course he would. How could he not? For the first time in his life, all his dreams were about to come true. Come on. We originally met Basset in 2016. He was living in Afghanistan and had recently sent a Facebook message across the world to David Bilger, trumpet player for the Philadelphia Orchestra. Basset was looking for a mentor. It started off saying, I'm the best trumpet player in Afghanistan because there are only two. <laughs> and, I, and I was immediately taken by him. I said, okay, I got, I got to read the rest of what he has to say. Can you try that? Basset told him how the Taliban wanted Western music banned and the players punished. That's it. Did you feel like you were risking your safety? In some point, yes. But you did it anyway? Yeah. So with that devotion and some help from David, Bassett got into the prestigious Interlochen Center for the Arts, a high school in Michigan. From there, he went on to college in the U.S. and even got an internship with a congressman. Bassett so cherished his new American freedom he once broke out his trumpet in a crowded airport just to honor a group of veterans he saw. That's the kind of kid he is. But he has also been a lonely kid. His entire family back in Afghanistan hadn't seen him in six years. They all fled after the fall of Kabul, but couldn't get to America. Until now. Last month, Bassett's father, his mother, and his three sisters joined him in Kansas City. His mom, Parwana, said, it was a dream to see my son before dying. Bassett's family arrived just in time to see him graduate from the University of Kansas with three degrees. Bassett Azizi. One day, Bassett hopes to work for the State Department as an ambassador. But until then, he's perfectly happy with his humbler titles, brother and son. Steve Hartman, CBS News, on the road.